Eurodam is a signature class cruise ship and the very first to join Holland America's fleet. She is a medium sized cruise ship by today's standards which epitomises grace and elegance at sea. We're going to start our tour at midship on deck 1, which is the place you will embark right into Eurodam's beautiful atrium which spans decks 1 to 3. On deck 1 and on the port side of the atrium you'll find guest services. On the starboard side you'll encounter future crew sails. All the way forward of deck 1 and spanning up to deck 3 is the World Stage Theatre. World Stage Theatre is the largest entertainment venue on board and is home to a variety of performances day and night. During the day you can expect port talks and enrichment lectures. And come the evening, expect to be dazzled by Broadway style theatre shows and unique entertainment such as BBC Earth in concert, which was nothing short of fantastic. As you leave the World Stage Theatre on deck 2, you'll walk into the casino. Whether you prefer slot machines or want to try your hand at blackjack or poker, the casino aboard Eurodam is unlikely to disappoint. Opposite the casino and on the starboard side is Billboard on board. Two pianos, 60 years of chart toppers and hundreds of songs from artists all around the world. Billboard on board is the perfect place for a sing-along where you can test your music trivia skills or just sit back and enjoy those well-known hits which fill the room each and every night of your cruise. If you've sailed on other signature and Vista class cruise ships with Holland America, you'll most likely be familiar with the Gallery Bar. This sophisticated venue is adorned with an electric and whimsical mix of artwork including portraits, landscape, still life and abstract pieces. You'll also find a menu of signature cocktails here too, crafted by master mixologist Dale DeGroff. BB King's Blues Club ranks as one of our most favourite entertainment venues at sea and is the place to go when you're feeling upbeat and ready to dance. Direct from Beale Street in Memphis, BB King's all-star band cooks up a rich southern heritage of classic soul and rock and roll to get you dancing. The music put on here throughout our cruise on Eurodam was quite frankly exceptional. We now arrive at our first speciality restaurant on board, Pinnacle Grill. Pinnacle Grill costs $39 per person and happens to be one of the best steakhouses at sea we have tried. You can expect an exceptional menu and impeccable service which make for a thoroughly enjoyable dining experience. The refined menu features a selection of 28-day wet-aged prime steaks which have been meticulously chosen by Holland America's Culinary Council to guarantee the finest quality. The menu also features several different seafood and plant-based options which are exquisitely prepared and complemented by a vast selection of award-winning wines. This is a must-try dining option aboard Eurodam. Directly opposite and just off of the atrium on deck 2 is the Pinnacle Bar, which is a perfect option for a pre or post dinner drink. This venue also serves great speciality coffees to take away from early morning onwards. Just next door you'll come across the onboard art gallery, where you'll be able to purchase incredible pieces of art from artists all around the world. This is Lincoln Stage, where you can enjoy classical contemporary music entertainment. In an exclusive partnership with the world's leading centre for performing arts, music virtuosos perform familiar classics with a contemporary twist. Sitting right next to Lincoln Stage on deck 2 is Explorer's Lounge, which is an open, elegant and refined bar and lounge where you can enjoy a glass of wine, a cocktail or your favourite liqueur while listening to the performance taking place in Lincoln Stage. This lounge also makes for a perfect place to relax with a book during the day. Spanning decks 2 and 3 at the aft is the dining room, which is the inclusive main dining room on board. For an elegant breakfast which includes extra charge premium options such as Lobster Benedict, a leisurely lunch or a high quality multi-course dinner, the dining room is the destination for you. As you leave the dining room on deck 3, you'll step into the photo gallery, where you can purchase photos taken by the ship's professional photographers, as well as the opportunity to grab much needed camera essentials whilst on holiday. Taking up all of the deck space in the atrium on deck 3 is Ocean Bar, where you can enjoy live music and perfectly crafted cocktails in the very heart of the ship. 
Moving forward on deck 3 you'll find the shops, including a large jewellers, a fashion store, a perfumery and a port shop which includes both a duty free section and one which sells much needed essentials including over the counter medicine and snacks. On the port side of deck 3 you'll encounter three function rooms including Half Moon and Hudson, which are used for special functions and activities including crafts such as sewing. Decks 4 through to 8 are all passenger cabins, but hidden at the centre of Deck 7 is the Neptune Lounge, which is a suite only lounge which serves gourmet bites and drinks day and night, and also features a concierge for suite guests to deal with any question, query or arrangement you desire. We're now at the forward end of Deck 9 in the Fitness Centre. Equipped with the latest cardio and strength training equipment, the Fitness Centre aboard Eurodam is staffed by fully qualified gym instructors where personal training is offered for an extra charge. There is also a whole range of daily fitness classes which take place here, and they are included as part of your cruise fare. This is the Greenhouse Spa. This heavenly retreat nurtures every aspect of your well-being, with a whole list of enticing beauty and massage treatments to choose from. It features a fully equipped hair and beauty salon, and a rather beautiful hydrotherapy pool and thermal suite, which comprises steam rooms, a sauna, and tropical rain showers. The hydrotherapy pool features various therapeutic air jets and pumps to pummel away any stress you have. This is the Lido pool. This pool area features a good sized swimming pool, a large hot tub and two smaller ones. For a main pool on a cruise ship this space was very relaxing and bar service from the Lido bar was fast and friendly at all times. The Lido pool features a retractable roof which slides all of the way off when Eurodam is sailing in warmer climates. On the starboard side of the Lido pool you have luxury cabanas which cost just $50 a day. Each cabana features a table and chairs, a luxury cushioned lounger and you are waited on from 9am to 6pm. If you want a drink or a bite to eat, simply ask one of the cabana butlers and they will see to it. $50 is a very fair price for the service and comfort we experienced. Dive In is the best poolside grill we have eaten at. It offers a huge variety of casual culinary options using the highest quality ingredients. The burgers and hot dogs here were premium quality and were way better than other poolside grills and eateries we have experienced. If you are vegan, there were three different options available, which makes a nice change from the usual one or none. Holland America has set a very high bar when it comes to fast food by the pool. The Lido Market is the buffet style restaurant aboard Eurodam and it happens to be one of the best we have experienced, particularly for food quality, but the variety was decent enough. Everything we ate here was delicious, but the salad bar is particularly memorable. So many dressings, different types of leaves and toppings, it was fantastic, and to be honest, this was our lunch most days. The freshly baked bread served here was also memorable, and is probably some of the nicest bread we have ever eaten. Found on the port side of the Lido market is Canaletto, which is the Italian speciality restaurant on board open for dinner. You can enjoy amazing Italian classics like freshly made pasta, risotto and you can finish off with tiramisu. Canaletto is charged at just $19 per person and it was worth every bit of that. At the very aft of deck 9 is the Seaview Bar and Pool. This is the liveliest of the two pools on board and poolside entertainment was laid on here frequently, particularly at sailaways. It is also the better of the two pools if you're looking to catch the sun, as there is very little shade here. This pool area features a nice sized swimming pool and two small hot tubs. And right next to it you have New York Pizza, serving freshly made pizza cooked to order, free of charge. Found near midship of Deck 10 is Club Howe, which is the children's club on board Eurodam for children aged between 3 and 17 years of age. The children's club is not available on cruises of 25 nights or more. All the way forward of Deck 11 is the Crow's Nest and Exploration Central. This unusual venue is exclusive to Holland America and serves the purpose of deepening your understanding of the places you visit during your cruise. You'll find a whole host of technology to help you explore the places you are visiting before you get there, so you can make the most of your time when you do. On the port side you'll find the bar to grab a speciality coffee or something a little stronger, as well as a section for board games and cards. On the starboard side you have shore excursions where you can book all of those extra charge trips ashore. Also on deck 11 is the retreat. 
For $50 per person per day, you'll have your very own private cabana, which comes with butler service, who will look after all of your needs whilst you are here. If you value peace and quiet, a cabana up here would be a better choice than down by the Lido pool. Located near midship on deck 11 is the Tamarind Bar. This bar and lounge area is an Asian inspired hideaway, offering great views forward out over the Lido pool area and whatever destination you are visiting. The Tamarind Bar serves a great range of exotic signature cocktails to work through during your cruise. Just next door is Tamarind, which easily rivals the best Asian restaurants we have eaten at on land. Tamarind is the perfect place to explore the culinary traditions of Southeast Asia, China and Japan, from vegetable spring rolls through to chicken red thai curry. The superb food was matched with impeccable service, and it costs just $25 per person. Whilst in Tamarind, you also have Nami Sushi. Just make it known to your waiter whether you would want the Tamarind menu or the Sushi menu, or pick from both. Nami Sushi operates by a la carte pricing, and once again was very good indeed. And lastly, at the aft of Deck 11, you'll find the Sports Court. This was our first cruise with Holland America, and to be honest, we were very impressed. Food and service were generally fantastic at both inclusive and extra charge venues. The entertainment is very different to other cruise ships, with a huge focus on high quality music performances. As much as we enjoy much of the entertainment on a cruise, sometimes the performances are a bit cruise ship-esque, where music is an easy listen rather than making for genuine audible pleasure. But the music performances at Lincoln Stage, BB King's Blues Club and Billboard on Board were next level and it's clear that Holland America have something very special when it comes to entertainment, you just need to be the right person to appreciate it. Service was also exemplary, and it's clear that Holland America are maintaining the standards people quite rightly expect when paying to cruise with a premium cruise line. Eurodam is not a glitzy or glamorous ship, you don't find yourself going around the ship doing too many oohs and ahs, but instead you have a homely and inviting decor one which is uniformed with other ships in the Holland America fleet, so that returning guests feel a sense of familiarity as soon as they step on board. We left Eurodam with a very positive impression of this ship and Holland America as a whole, which is why we went and booked two more Holland America cruises whilst on board, something we have never done before. Our time on Eurodam was just that good.